some of the symptoms are similar like fever and cough, but there are major differences between COVID-19 and the seasonal flu and what this new disease does to a person's body and to those around them. Researchers with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that right now, on average, a person with COVID-19 will infect two and a half people. For the seasonal flu, it's 1.3. Another major difference, the incubation time, which is defined as the time from first exposure to first symptoms. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, for the seasonal flu, you're looking at one to four days with most people showing symptoms in about two days. For COVID-19, the virus can remain in a person's body for up to 14 days before they show any symptoms. The next two stats are key. The first one is the hospitalization rate. According to the CDC, it's about 20% for someone infected with COVID-19 compared to just 2% for the flu. Second, the fatality rate for confirmed cases. It's 1 to 3.4% right now for people infected with the new coronavirus and 0.1 or less for someone with the flu. The virus is also deadlier for people older than 80. This is not meant to downplay the flu in the U.S., which kills thousands of people every year. But keep in mind, there is currently no vaccine for COVID-19. And since this is a new virus, humans have not built an immunity to it. For The Nine, RJ Martins.